The smooth surface of this bank is composed almost completely of ice that has stayed frozen for thousands of years in the cold Arctic climate. In the winter, water from underground springs along Arctic rivers frequently freezes before it gets to the surface, forming large ground ice masses. Pulses are ice cored mounds in wetlands. If the ice inside the mound melts, the ground subsides and trees tip over. The ground is white due to a dense lichen cover. The horizontally oriented wrinkles on this slope or sole affluxion lobes. The waterlogged soil is oozing down slope over permafrost. Ice wedge polygons form by contraction cracking during cold Arctic winters. These polygons are about 10 yards across. The smooth gray material exposed in this cut bank is ice from ice wedge polygons. These giant wedges were formed long ago when mammoths and bison roamed the landscape. Retrogressive thaw slumps form when a cut bank advances into frozen ground by thaw. Freezing and thawing can push the soil into mounds called earth hummocks. They are usually two or three feet high and wider than tussocks. Freezing and thawing heaves boulders to the surface, sometimes standing them up on end, and also forming interesting networks. Frost action breaks rock apart into boulders, producing block fields that are a challenge to walk across. The tundra often has circular patches of bare soil that have been heaved to the surface, called non-sorted circles or mud boils. These lakes were formed by the thawing of large underground ice bodies. This kind of subsidence is called thermokarst. Small streams in the Arctic often link small ponds, like beads on a necklace, hence the name beaded drainage. Pingos are ice-cored hills that rise above the Arctic landscape. 